What's going on guys? Miles Jackman here. Got another Bass Daily Vlog. By the time this one's up, I'll probably be on the way to Florida. Might have a vlog out or two on the road. We're gonna throw a swim jig today. Oh, I just need to get on a good jig bite. I missed it. I've been missing it too long and fishing other stuff. We're gonna pull out a jig, see if we can get it done. Duck him. He choked that jig. Riker, stop running into him. He choked it. And I blasted him. He got me all wet though. That one, I reached in my pocket. Pulled out the old bang. That's a pretty good one right there. On that little seven foot medium. I can't believe it didn't break off because I kind of jacked him. He's got that jig all the way down. That's good pound and a half or <laughs> yes. five of those in the boat go back to the wind five by three nice and heavy throwing that little KVD quarter ounce it's a little bluegill pattern um, and then I took a, a, a zoom fat Obert grub stuck it on the back uh, these got rattles in it and they got that little weed guard on it so it's a pretty good uh, swim jig I wouldn't I wouldn't fish the quarter ounce in the bottom but for shallow water swim jig fishing it's really good <laughs> there's another one this is a little guy Riker I, t I tell you Riker's got some hops that one ate it pretty good too there's something else just blew up over there. I tell you, it's all about these conditions today. It's a little overcast, you know, it's sun in and out, it's about 40 degrees. And I think they might just feed all day. Hop pops that little jig. That's just a little guy, but catching them on a jig. I feel like if I can get them on a jig, I think that's really the deal. Got me another one, and Riker just ate him. Alright, we got him. Just a little one, it's kind of all messed up because Riker. But I mean, you look any direction right now, look for five seconds, and bait will flicker. Like, it's crazy out here right now. Just a little 30 second tip, it's called bang. Um, I like the crawdad formula, You can they have a few different formulas that they that you can use. That didn't work. But you just hold your jig out, make sure no one's in front of you, watch where the wind's going, and just douse your jig and let that dry. Sometimes I'll do it overnight, um, but always do it outside. Dom Gazzardo got me started on this. Kenny used to spray me with it last year all the time because he was in the front of the boat and he was always bowing the wind, so you gotta be careful who's behind you. But I really like the bang. Gives them, it doesn't attract them to it, but when they bite it, they might hold on to that extra second so they're I can whack them. There's a fish. This is a good one. Pike. Oh, it's a big man. Oh, it's taking a log. It's so awesome, dude. Oh, Riker, you just kicked me in the sack of Jawea. There's another better one. Eating that swim jig. I was due for a bite right there. It's kind of sad because it's like three minutes without a bite. I'm like, what's going on? Up comes that little swim jig. About a pound, pound and a half. -er. One that we try to call for sure. A jig is a really good way to catch a big bass. A lot of personal bass have been caught on a jig, including mine. As far as greenbacks go, personal bass smallmouth was caught in a black fuzz bait in like 2014. That one just kind of inhaled it. This is a pike. No, it's a bad. 
one too. Came up. He just kind of, he didn't thump it. He just kind of pulled into it. I just felt slack and just pulled. He was fighting like a pike, real sluggish. There's another one. Not a little one. The bite, I think, has just kind of died down. The uh, I don't see bait flickering anymore. It's been about 15 minutes since my last bite. I don't see stuff blowing up on anything anymore. So I think my bite has kind of died out, guys. So I'm probably gonna call it right now. So today was all about just a little bit good, at just kind of moderate, decent conditions that we had, because we had a little bit of overcast, like it's cloudy, but it's not like thick clouds, sun's still popping out, um, not a lot of wind, the, the fish were really active today, and not like crazy active where I could have caught them on anything, you know what I mean, but they were they were biting today, and I was just throwing a little uh, quarter ounce KVD uh, swim jig, and that's just a little Zoom Fat, El Fat Elbert grub, and I was just bombing a cast out and just cranking it in, you know? And I pop my rod every now and then, but just slowly reel. And when you feel that bite, you don't want to drop the slack and whack them. You just kind of want to feel that bite, kind of reel into them a little bit, and then just kind of get them, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like a drop, wait a second, and then whack them. It's just feel the bite, and then kind of get them, you know? So thanks for tuning in to today's vlog, guys, and uh, line's tight. See you next time.